All right, time to start up another week of Cincy game hunting. And guys, we are going to hit up a Goodwill that we hit fairly often on the way into work. Um, honestly, I'll tell you, thrift stores have been not doing much for me recently. Um, outside of that 3DS and a couple other random things like that Sukkoten Tactics we found, I haven't found a lot of thrift stores recently. I've been lucky to find a lot of good deals at retail shops recently and a couple of pawn deals and whatnot. But um, thrift stores around me have been pretty dry recently. So... Hopefully the week is a little better this week, but uh, I'm uh, keeping my fingers crossed. And uh, guys, don't forget to like me on uh, Instagram and Twitter. I try to post any kind of deals that I find, like whether it be GameStop sales or whatnot, or Walmart deals that I find to those so you guys can find them too before I air these videos because a lot of times I air these long after the sales are already over. So keep an eye on those. Uh, at Cincy Game Hunt is where I have those. And also, I uh, got a couple of questions. People were asking me if they could send me something, and I didn't really have a way for them to do that. I did recently get a post office box. The link will be down, or not the link, the address will be down in the description. And I also posted it on the About section of the channel. So if you guys feel free, if you want to, I, I don't ever ask for anybody to send me anything. I appreciate the gesture and all, but like, that's not really what I do. Um, but yeah, I've been asked about 10 times about that and figured why not I'll, I'll start a post office box that was pretty cheap to do so and I, I figure I can use it for other things as well so hey we'll get it started this week All right, um, as you all saw, they had a ton of good games in there. And I was getting pretty excited, and then I turned them all over. These were some of the worst chewed up games I'd seen in a while. They weren't cracked, but there were so many gouges and deep uh, scratches in these things, and a lot of them were just disgusting on the bottom. Anyway, I don't know if people were using them as coasters or whatnot, but um, yeah, they were pretty gross. I'll show a picture here, a couple of them, but um, and I'm sure the pictures aren't doing it any justice, but like every one of the ones that I kind of grabbed and was like, oh, I want to get this one. They, they were all trashed. So, oh, well, um, there was also a 360 in there, but it was the early model 360, which is the fairly often red ringed model. And there was no cords to test it. So even for $19, I was like, nah, I'm good. But on the wall, I think the companion controller was there, and uh, this thing's in immaculate condition. It's uh, no blemishes at all on it. Looks great. The uh, battery compartment is completely free of uh, any kind of corrosion, so 
that was pretty cool. Um, usually the giveaway, if this thing's been worn down pretty bad, is like these little nubs on the top of the joysticks will be worn down. And um, and the joysticks were all in good shape. None of them looked like they were drifting. Granted, you can't check it until you actually get home with them. But uh, yeah, all the buttons, none of them stuck. It was, and I said, it's probably one of the cleanest looking controllers I've seen in a while at a thrift store. And it's only five bucks. So can't complain about that one bit. Uh, as y'all saw, they actually had a PlayStation controller in there too, but that thing looked like a dog had chewed up the joysticks, so, um, or the analog sticks. So yeah, I was gonna leave that one behind no matter what, I didn't even buy a look at the price of it, it was just so bad. Um, but yeah, one thing of this, uh, Goodwill, I saw a ton of games that I wanted, but all we got was a 360 controller. All right, so the video you guys just saw was actually from a couple of days ago. Um, my son was at a birthday party and my wife and I snuck over to the Goodwill real quick because we were waiting for him to get done. And uh, yeah, they had a ton of games in there. Unfortunately, it was pretty much everything I already had or stuff that I didn't want. Um, they actually had a bunch of cartridge-based uh, like Genesis and Super Nintendo games, but I don't collect those anymore. Um, I had them for a little while and I'm just not nostalgic for them. Uh, backstory, I actually started my video gaming with Atari 2600, and then my sister and I bought a 8-bit NES together. And that's all we had until the PlayStation 1 came out. So I skipped the 16-bit generation altogether, so I'm not nostalgic for it. I, this is my my thing. I don't really have any love for it, because I, I did play it a couple times at friends' houses and stuff like that, but I literally went from NES to PS1, so... Funny enough, the one game I did pick up was a PS1 game, Pac-Man World. Um, it ended up being five or it ended up being two dollars. Um, games at this Goodwill are usually five dollars a piece, so I don't know if he maybe rung it up as a CD and didn't realize it. But um, I didn't realize until I got home. I looked at the receipt and I saw it said two dollars on. I'm like, oh, he uh, didn't charge me the game price. So picked up Pac-Man World for two bucks, and um, I have Pac-Man World two and three. So yeah, picked this up for super cheap. Now I got all three of them. All right, so we snuck into a Goodwill and this is one that I don't really go to that often. It's one of their boutique stores. And uh, a backstory on this store, um, back when they used to do 50% off day, which they haven't done since the COVID quarantines, um, they had an off a, a copy of Pokemon Black version two for $25. And I thought about doing it, but I'm like, tomorrow is 50% off day. And I'll go there right before they open and wait in line and get it right away. Because it was right before closing time when I saw it. And I literally showed up like, five minutes before opening time and they let everybody in early and some guy was holding it in his hand when I got in there. I was like, ah, oh. I mean, going back to now thinking of it today, I'm like, I totally should have just grabbed it that day. It wasn't worth the risk saving $12 and it was complete in box. So that was a major bummer because that thing goes, I think for like 150, 160 bucks now. So, oh, well, uh, we picked up one game. Um, most everything in there was priced at $6 for the 
PS3 and 360 generation and everything older was $4 or less. Um, and none of the 360 and PS3 games, which the majority of what they had in there, uh, were all stuff that I already had in my collection, so I didn't really need them. And they weren't worth enough to double buy and try to flip because most of them, you know, don't trade very well. So uh, there was a couple Black Ops games, but they're the PS3 versions, which don't trade in the game without very well. Uh, the one game we get, I apologize for the long delay, Mortal Kombat Armageddon on the PS2. Uh, one of the few PS2 games that I don't have, and um, I hadn't actually seen this one in the shop before, so I uh, picked it up for 4 bucks. I want to say it's like a $15, $20 game, so not a bad little deal on that one. And I said, this is one of the ones that I have not played yet, and I, there aren't too many Mortal Kombat games that I haven't gotten around to playing yet, but this is one of the ones that's eluded me for a while, so Mortal Kombat Armageddon on the PS2. All right, I had a sick feeling this was gonna happen sooner or later. Um, Walmart is legit blocking three cent games. Um, all the games that I found, I'll show you a picture here. Uh, the guy at the register tried to scan them and it kept on beep beep, can't, can't sell them. Beep beep, can't sell them. And I'd heard from other folks, uh, been commenting on my other Walmart videos, uh, saying that they are having that problem where they are so I figured I'm gonna go out and see if I can find some of these three cent games and test it out and sure enough They are all blocked um, The computer system will not allow the employees to uh, Sell the games and I said I tried the employee tried to override it and see if he could get him to go through and he couldn't get it to go through I guess it's a new policy. <clears throat> I guess it's an old policy, but they just didn't have it in the computer to block it before and uh, the computer system just basically locks them out from being able to sell them. So, major bummer. And uh, like I said, though, I kind of had a feeling sooner or later Walmart would do something like this to block the three cent games from being sold at retail. All right, St. Vincent de Paul did not let me down. Well, kind of didn't. Um, there was a couple of games that I wanted to grab, and there was a Grand Theft Auto V for the Xbox One that the disc was cracked, and like, like legitly like the whole way through the disc. Um, yeah, that stunk. And uh, Black Ops was there too on the 360, and it was scratched up really bad, and it wanted five bucks for it. So only ended up picking up one game. Grand Theft Auto Liberty City Stories on the PlayStation 2. Now, for y'all don't know, this was originally a PSP game that they ported to the PS2 later on. Same thing with uh, Vice City Stories. Um, <clears throat> and honestly, I think I have the PSP version, but I never got around to getting this version. So yeah, picking that up for five bucks is pretty good. Uh, I think it's like a $16 game, 15, 16, something like that. But yeah, picking it up for five bucks at the thrift store. Gotta love it.
All right, a quick trip into Cash America Pawn, and I found a couple of PS4 games that I didn't have in the collection, surprisingly enough. Um, one of them, I actually have the sequel, but I don't have the original for some reason. And they ended up giving it to me for $2 because it was in a case with no artwork or anything, and they just said, all right, two bucks, sweet. The original Watch Dogs, which I was surprised I didn't have. Um, like I said, I had the second one. For some reason, I remember playing the first one, but I don't have it in the collection, so okay. Uh, picked it up for two bucks, like I said, and I'm probably just gonna take it out of this case because the case is tore up, and I'll probably put it in the case with part two and just keep them together. Other game we got was I love these uh, like war fighting plane games, Air Conflicts Vietnam on the PS4, Ultimate Edition. Um, I've played some of the other Air Conflict games. Um, I want to say Pacific Carriers, maybe a couple of them on the 360 in the back in the day, but uh, I don't have this one in the collection, so. Picking that up for five bucks was pretty awesome. So seven dollars all together for both these games. I like it. Uh, I'm seeing, finding more and more deals at pawn shops, which is a good thing because I've been finding that the thrift stores around my area are kind of drying up, like I said at the beginning of the video. So yeah, pawn shop for the win. All right, guys, we're going to end this video in the game room. And the reason behind that is, is the last pickups I have for the week actually came off of GameStop Online, which I don't do very often, but um, a viewer actually contacted me and said, hey, GameStop just loaded up a bunch of Vita games on the website, and I was like, I'll check it out, and sure enough, there was a ton of games that I wanted to grab. It's actually only two orders, but it was like split up into like seven shipments or six shipments, so um, yeah, uh, a lot of stuff to go through here real quick. Um, I will say that I did open these, but I have not looked inside them yet because I didn't want to have to like try and rip everything apart while I was on this to try and save some time. So let's see what we got. Uh, one of the deals that I ended up getting, uh, a lot of times GameStop has that four for 20 deal. That's if you buy games that are $10 or less. So some of these were actually $5 a piece because of that deal. Um, all right, well, first one, let's rip into them. What are the odds you think we're gonna actually gonna get complete copies? I'm gonna say about a 20% chance. I just don't think it's going to happen very much. Rip into the first one. Oh, already a bad start. We have paper sleeves. Um, I think those are the only two in there. The rest is just a receipt. Yep. So first of all, we have Unit 13 on the Vita. Um, a first-person shooter, I believe. Oh, and it just fell out of the case. Um, but yeah. Pick that up. I want to say it ended up being $14. This was actually part of the, the 4 for 20 deal that I picked up. I needed to spend $14.99 more to get free shipping. So I was like, whatever. Pick up Unit 13 for $14.99 and finish out that deal. And this is one of the $5 games. Madden 13. Which surprisingly goes for like 20 to 30 bucks for the Vita. Mainly because it's the only Madden game I think came out on that. So... Madden 13 for $5. Love that. Into the next package. Oh! We actually got cases! We got Backman, Blackgate. It's one of the Arkham games. Pick that up and it looks like it's complete. Well, not a manual, but I don't think the Vita games have manuals much. Oh, and Uncharted. Uncharted uh, on, the P on the PS Vita. These were both regular price, like $14.99 and $19.99. I paid full price for these, but still good deals on these. And these are hard to find anymore, so picked up two of them with cases. Hey, my faith has been restored a little bit. All right, third one. Nope, oh, GameStop case. Little Big Planet. Uh... Always got to pick up these. It's a PlayStation staple. But yeah, did not have a little big planet on the Vita, so that's pretty awesome. I wish it would have been enough regular case, but you know what? We 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 move on. All right, fourth package. Oh, another GameStop case. This one is. Let me see nothing else in here. Lego Marvel Superheroes. This one was one of the ones that was $5. So, not complaining about that one bit. Uh, Little Big Planet, I believe, was $13. That was full price. All right, 
in the fifth package. Oh, this feels like it's one of those plastic containers. Yep. Jurassic World, Lego Jurassic World on the Vita. That was another $5 one, so score on that. And last but not least, do we get another case? Hey, we did! Final Fantasy X. It says Final Fantasy X and X2, but if y'all know, I think you have to have the download code to be able to get... Uh, well, it has the code in there, but I'm guaranteeing it's probably already been used. I'm going to move that aside so nobody can see it. And then we'll show the game. So yeah, that one was $5 as well. So, not a bad way to end the week. Um, like I said, I don't usually buy stuff on GameStop online. But, um, hey, if I can find cheapies online, I'll get them. Anyway, guys, I appreciate you watching again this week. Thank you again. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. We're getting so close to 3,000 uh, subscribers. By the time this video comes out, it actually might be at 3,000 subscribers. So if we are, thank you guys for that. And until next time, keep hunting.